So another job I can be doing if I decide to go for one of for this style of a bolt, I have a few of these, right? If I go for that instead of this, what I can do is I can cut threads down further. I'm gonna have to. So we're talking roughly talking roughly about that much and as you can see it's very close to the end of the thread so what I can do is I can go and give this a little bit of a, a cut cut new threads Over and back, let it cut. Actually, I think I have this on upside down. Just make sure it's all right. Yeah, I think I have it on upside down. Yeah, I do. I'm just going to make it a little bit harder to spin. So I may as well just go ahead and cut these down a little bit and have it ready to go. It's no harm having this little extra bit of thread on it anyway. I don't use it for this job. These, these are actually, these are going to be, where are they going? They're going to be going in here. That's what, them, that's what I'm using them for. There's one done. And that was the original one. So you can see I've gone down a good bit more. It's all going to be, these threads are going to be hidden if they're too, uh, it's too much of them anyway. So I'm just going to do this one now. Lovely work. This, i say these are really, really high quality bolts. That's why I'm probably going to go for these, I think, over the one, other ones I have. And if they're too long, they'll stick up a little bit. What about it? I can always cut them if I really want to, but to be honest with you, they're just, they're just really, really hard steel. These other black ones, I don't really know if they're of the same quality. It's lovely making, I won't say making your own bolts, because I'm not like making them from scratch, obviously, but making them fit. I just think these bolts now are going to be able to withstand a bit more heat. The other ones will just keep lengthening the whole time and then you've got an exhaust leak and gas gets blown out then. Checking them the whole time. There's this, these ones are just that bit harder steel. I'd say they take the heat better. Especially considering it is a vaporizing manifold. So this should do the trick nicely. What I do with this usually just like do a half turn, go back, half turn and back. Roughly, always go back. Get a look and see now how much of that we've got done. Compare so then I can put on the other die then for finishing finishing the threads. Okay. I'll get them equal just for just to have them right. Why not? Get them roughly equal or so. Need to go a little bit more on this one. That's no no panic at all. So I come back when I've that done, and I'll show I'll show you uh, me treading them into the manifold. So I can use the old U clamp, U, U bend, as for just a template to give me an idea of how much treads I need to cut on these bolts. Yes, I will be putting washers 
that's just nipping up there nicely. So it might be winning here. I'll be putting washers underneath the, the bolts obviously, so best to obviously not fit them for this test to make sure there's definitely enough threads to tighten up completely. that that is tightened up it is what I can do is I can fit on a washer or two whatever I'm going to put on a washer would say each side spring washer would say and then I can cut the end end of the, the bolts but first thing I want to make sure that this u-bend is this bit here is the same thickness as the under slung so that I could be right. Now of course I can all, I can always mark them and cut them later, but I might as well might as well do it now. I want to just sit and flush with the top there just to have as much strength in, the, in this. This is a place I don't want an exhaust leaks. I think it can end up popping out the exhaust and that's exactly what I'm trying to stop. So this Plans would say is roughly that size there, and I measure the other one there now. So I'm going to put this into my cap. Okay, and so this one is thinner. It's a it's it's a good bit thinner. So more importantly, we need to get this thickness here. Roughly about. There. Now the batteries have decided to die in my vernier caliper, so that's no big deal. So, with that in mind, how's that going to change things or affect things? It's a good bit, a bit thinner, which means we need to make sure that our treads are going to be of enough treads. I'm doing a bit of cleaning up on the flange on the U-bend. Now I'm not going to be using this but I will put it on at some point just for the just to, to see what it sounds like now after all the work that's been done on the engine. And that's the sign sort of came on the track. They're very long. Too too high for the door unfortunately. But um I just put on a, a clamp there and was giving it a shake and it seems to be um nice and snug on it. I've got two options for gaskets. I've got this copper one here. And I have this one here. Now the thing about this one is it's just a little bit too wide around here. But the holes are bang on for the for the bolts. Whereas this one, they're just a little bit oh they're actually they're not they're not too bad, I thought they were. So I'm gonna go with the copper one. So this will be going obviously back on my underslow exhaust. But uh, I will at some point definitely fit, uh, now that I have all of this um, cleaned up. And remember the reason why uh, I changed the manifold to that one was I couldn't get this off. And as you've seen in the previous video, I actually had to, when I tried with force and heat, it actually wrung them. So at least now I'm going to be in the position because I've treaded drilled and threaded out the studs in the, the other manifold, I can now take this off, put it on anytime I want. If I do want to see what it sounds like with the uh, vertical exhaust, and uh, I can then easily put back on the underslung exhaust. Because with this manifold as well, I actually had to drill out the studs completely, but I put in bolts. So with the other one, I drilled and tapped, so I'll be able to use bolts that look a bit neater, look original. So. Um, that's going to be another option that I have. I can, I'll be able to use this. This is a Burgess exhaust, a Burgess, I don't know how it's pronounced. And I'm fairly sure that for that type of exhaust, make of exhaust at least, was fitted when they were original in the factory. So uh, this one is, the baffler's probably, probably a little bit shocking it. But uh, still, I'll be able to put it on easily now by just removing 
two bolts.